Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are going to do, I'm Stacy by the way, and uh, today we are going to do a flip through of 2021's body of work. Um, the pile is pretty high. It is, got my handy dandy ruler, it is approximately seven inches high. <laughs> right about there. Um, Thought we'd just go ahead and do a flip through of all the pieces. Um, probably going to do the Inktober 52 and Inktober pieces really fast because um, I have dedicated videos for those. Thought we would go through and just show the body of work that I've cre created and, and done for the year. It's, I think, important to reflect on what you started at and where you ended and to really assess that you well I feel like I succeeded this year in creating quite a nice body of work um, possibly improving my skills and uh, I had a lot of fun I created a lot of YouTube videos majority of these drawings are YouTube videos um, and yeah let's just get started I'm gonna start with these teensy pieces that are on the top because uh, they're so tiny uh, they'll get lost in the shuffle and they were created throughout the year I have a bunch of these trading card sized pieces of paper and I've I've done a few pieces on them there's a little jellyfish I'm gonna set those over there and my little teensy turtle dude which I think turned out really good I sketched these at work on my breaks a little squid dude. I think it's a squid. I know it's not an octopus. Let me know in the comments below if you know what that one is. And then I've done a couple of butterflies and these these are um, ink and watercolor. This is Bristol. Those other ones were watercolor paper. Did a couple different butterfly ones. I turned I think they turned out really pretty. This is a one video there in one one YouTube video if you're interested. This is just a, a bookmark size doodle that I did at work. Nothing fancy, just a little doodle with watercolor wash over it. And these are, I would like to make these into um, bookmarks and I haven't decided yet because there's four so far. I haven't decided if I want to do color on them or not, but here's the, the lion. I think he looks really cool. And then this little bird. And then the fox. And these ones are not um, YouTube videos. I did these at work, just sitting at my desk. I had a lot of downtime whilst waiting for things to happen. And then when I created my Inktober 52 pieces, they're this square right here. I had a lot of leftover bits of paper and I didn't want to waste them so I decided to go ahead and do um, more possible bookmark ideas on these. So the first one was um, just quick doodle uh, ink and watercolor wash of some pine trees and rocks and then we have another another tree I think I like this one. I think it turned out really nice. I like the different style of tree. This one I'm not so thrilled with, but I can't be happy with all of them, right? And then this was a try. Try and a fail. I, I'm not happy with how this one turned out either. I mean, he's cute, but I can do better. <laughs> and then I did a, a bumblebee set. There's this one. This little bumble butt. And this one. I really love doing bees, all the details. Takes some time, but I just so enjoy it. This one I didn't care for too much. The, the background competes too much with the bee for my liking. And it's a little wonky, but it's cute. And then this guy's all drugged up on, on his, his pollen. But this one I spilled water on. You can see the ghosting 
I spilled water all across this one. <laughs> Messed them all up. And then I did a set of frogs. This, all the frogs are on one YouTube video as well if you're interested. Little iridescent paint or gold. That might be um, Liquitex gold. I do love my, my metallics. There's this guy. And these are um, India ink and watercolor wash. And um, just black ink liner. And there's this guy. And then I did a set of jellyfish because I really like them. And I splattered something on these, this guy, but I like how these guys, these are ink and, and watercolor. Um, this, this is a Faber-Castell ink pen and watercolor wash over the top of it for the jellies. And then there's this guy. And I thought they'd make really pretty bookmarks. And this guy. Also a YouTube video. Um, and then these are gouache. The little mouse dudes are gouache on the paper. This is just um, bee paper. Yeah, I, I like how the little field mice turned out. And this guy. Once again, these are gouache. With a little bit of ink here in, in the black to make it pop. This little dude. And Faber Castell ink pen on top of the gouache to make to the, make the details pop a little bit because doing I'm new at gouache and I lost some of my details in my mice without the ink. I like the textures on this the the gouache lens and the flat color. And this is ink and Liquitex. I think that's uh, copper. Are you copper? Yep, rich copper and watercolor wash for my whales because I wanted a little metallic glow on them. And then this one I, I lost the original in a wind storm because I sprayed the top of them with um, fixative and it got windy out and I forgot they were out there so I lost the original for this guy but here's the bookmark that because I made all of these into bookmarks not all of them but um, the whales the mice and the jellies and the frogs and the lighthouses um, I love the lighthouses how they turned out Love, love, love. I used um, Daniel Smith's granulated, uh, the duochrome colors. I was playing around with them to see what they would do on the paper. Um, just splashing them around and then I inked the lighthouses on top of the splashes. And I just thought, I think they turned out so cool. I love that duochrome color. Um, yeah, so that's how these guys got created and that's just ink over over watercolor which is not something I normally do I don't normally splash down watercolor and then do the ink drawing over the top but for these guys you know why not and then Inktober 52 there is a dedicated video I'm I'm, I'm gonna just s slam through these really quickly um, and they're all in order from week one through week 52. I had a lot of fun doing Inktober. It is the majority of, of my, well, not the majority. It's a nice chunk of my work for this year. Um, but there's a dedicated video with me talking about each piece. It's in my Inktober 52 playlist at the end. There's a video of time lapse for each one of these on the channel. Um, I love the Batman one though. I'm a Batgirl. He turned out cool. My turtle. And I talk a little bit about um, each piece in turn. I love the shield. <laughs> Try not to get distracted. 
Um, but I'm just going to flip through these real quick because it is um, part of the the year's work, you know, and each week was a challenge and there were weeks that I didn't do a piece that week. I did a piece, I, I did a couple pieces in one week to catch up and you know how it goes. So, but it was a challenge to finish the, the, the prompt words for each week throughout the year and do a drawing a week for the year. Um, super happy that I finished. Um, not, I haven't actually looked into it this year to see if they're doing it or not. I haven't really seen anything on Instagram about it. Like if they're doing October 52 again this year. And what we're in, we going into week two of the year already, so, um, I should probably look into that. Got something on this one. Super bummed. <laughs> Oof, the wind's kicking up a little bit outside. That's what that noise is, if you guys can hear it. Um, uh, I think we're under a weather advisory today. Well, tonight. It's 8.15. And I explain a little bit about each prompt word in the in the in-depth video about these, these drawings for the year. And that is October 52 for the year. And yeah, super happy to have finished all of those. Yeah, digging it. Okay, set those aside. And I'm gonna scoot all these little pieces aside because things are gonna get crazy here in a second. I have a little TV tray off to the side. Let's scooch these guys so that you can actually see What's happening here? Is that... I want those to fall off, but I don't want the light blocked either. Um, a lot of this um, sketchbook, I've had this, uh, all my palette pack stickers are on here. My Love and Kindness stickers from my Sweeties doll that my sister got me. Um, the Walnut Edition, I just stuck them on here. And this is one of the wooden stickers. Um, I forget what the girl's name is. I follow them on YouTube anyways. But um, most of this from here to here is 2020 work, which I have a, there, that's in my 2020 flip. And this is where I started with this sketchbook for 2021. Um, I, I wanna leave this here so that I don't have to do, look it up again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna zoom in a little, zoom, zoom, so you can see the whole thing. Go. Good. Good. Okay, stop shaking. All right. Um, this this sketchbook doesn't really take watercolor well. It crinkles the page, but I don't really mind that. So this is ink and watercolor. Bumblebee again. And I have this. Uh, this is a I don't know a cat. Uh, and this is throughout the year this year. Um, the, all the single pieces are in order for the year as well. But this is April. I did a cat. And this is metallic and ink and pen, I think. That looks like black ballpoint pen. Just scribbling while sitting outside. Practicing cats. Um, yeah, ink and... Sometimes I limit myself to, to just a few art supplies and I go sit outside in the sunshine and on my balcony and draw. And this is what happens. We have ink, watercolor wash, and some metallic pen. Um, I don't know why I wrote that there. I've, no clue. These are Pixabay reference photos. I was practicing drawing deer. And then more deer. I like this. I like how that, that guy turned out. Just the blockiness of it. And then he looks kind of majestic, doesn't he? <laughs> 
Oh, and then this is, I was practicing different frogs for my um, little frog pieces that I did. I was practicing different kinds of frogs in, I think I did these when I was in, yeah. These are the, a few sketches that I did when I went to visit my kids in Washington back in May. I miss them. Um, an, uh, mermaid idea thing. I also, um, I don't know if I, I've shown this before. Um, mermaid 2021. I have this sketch and I'm going to zoom back out so you can see this whole mess. I did this at work. Um, this is typing paper and ballpoint ink and highlighter. <laughs> Just getting down some ideas for possible mermaid pieces last year. And I ended up um, not participating in mermaid last year, which is fine. I just kind of backed out of it altogether. I did a couple of, uh, like I said, I did this at work and I like the idea. It is going to be a big finished project for 2022. This idea is setting out on my table over here because I have a large sheet of paper, um, heavy duty paper that I'm going to do a large personal piece on. But yeah, this was a mermaid idea sketch. Oh, birds, colored pencil and ink. I love birds. I, I love drawing birds. There's probably going to be a lot of birds in this flip. <laughs> um, yeah, hummingbirds are a favorite. I'm just sketching out on the patio. Girl reading a book. Um, I need to practice humans this year. I have fallen out of practice and I am I'm not as proficient as I used to be. Um, oh, yeah, I doodled this while I was watching Aaron Blaze, the creature art teacher on YouTube. If you haven't been to his channel, I highly recommend it. He does some um, amazing work. He used to work for Disney. Um, and he's worked on several Disney uh, cartoons. Um, but yeah, he was he was doing uh, yeah, while watching Aaron Blaze paint a watercolor live of the same reference photo. So he had the reference photo up in the corner and I was doodling this while he was painting. I think it turned out neat. It's ink and um, all kinds of textures going on several different inks and ink pens and white gel pen and mark I have these I have a bunch actually I'll show you real quick of these pens that uh, I never use because they're they have a lot of ink in them and they're brush pens um, they're brush marker pros and they're they're a brush tip but they have like a lot of color in them this is the blender let's try that again they have a lot of color in them and I I, I like them I have them but I'd hardly ever touch them so this is what happened when I was drawing I just snatched those pens and threw them in there too all kinds of crap going on. Woo! And I forget that this stuff bleeds because this it bleeds pretty good in this book and you can see through the pages. And there's a girl with a daisy in her mouth and her yellow hat and then flowers, daisy, poppy, iris with this same these same pens because I don't know what to do with them and the color is so heavy. <laughs> so I didn't do anything on that. Um, oh, um, yeah, you can't see that part. <laughs> um, military police. Uh, this was just a quick sketch. So I would remember to do the two. Um, and you'll, you'll have to go back. I don't have the original pieces anymore. I gave them to my brother-in-law, but two, different pieces, a serious piece and then a fun piece of, why am I not remembering 
what this is. This is just not going to come to me. You, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? It's all over the place. And then July, I, I started, I tried to start a Patreon last year in July and I didn't follow through. I don't sign up yet. I'm not there. Uh, I will hit you guys up. When, I'm going to have content by the end of this month and rolling into February for Patreon and, and Patreon related things. But I did do, well, there is this up there. All of the hot air balloons are up on Patreon if you guys are interested in looking at that. But this is sketches for that um, whole thing. And then I have in the big pile, I have finished watercolors of some of these sketches, which I had a lot of fun doing all of these different hot air balloons. I had no idea there were so many different kinds of hot air balloons. So I learned stuff, which is awesome. It's a little doodle of a squid thing? I don't know. And there will be blank pages. I just don't go back. If I skip a page, I, I forget to go back and fill it in. Um, doodle of the big tree outside. Um, I got part of it done, and there's a whole other section over there. And some more turtles. I love drawing sea creatures. So this, I like this spread. I like the ink and then the watercolor around it and the kind of wonky baby turtle looking thing. I, I really like this spread a lot. I think it turned out cool. And then, oh, Inktober rolled around. Drawing a day. Finished Inktober this year. Woo -hoo! Um, but this is some of the sketching for day one. The prompt was crystal. Um, incorporate crystals with an animal. Uh, uh, put the fortress of solitude on the back of an animal like like draw the idea was going to be to draw the animal and have the fortress of solitude coming up out of the back of the animal but yeah that didn't happen <laughs> so more inktober thoughts um suit so I was, I was sketching a suit. Um, I don't know why I put a helmet on him and some sunglasses. And then one of my ideas was a cute, cool futuristic space suit, a, a mix alien tech in with like a real sp space suit. And then the prompt board vessel, I was going to do an actual boat or, and then I did this instead of in the big finished pieces in the pile. I was sketching a raven, and that's all graphite. I actually like how that turned out. I, I, I really like how that turned out. He's cool. And then this is ballpoint pen. Just scribbling. Just scribbling. And then gnomes took over a little bit. I like this guy. I put a little star by him. Just ideas of different gnomes. Baby gnomes. Baby boy gnomes. Um, and then bears, polar bears. I, I didn't get his nose long enough and you, the, the drawing on the back, I, once again, don't pay attention. My sketchbooks are super sloppy. I, I'm not really worried about them being neat and tidy finished pieces at all. Um, I like that it's wonky. I like that it's, um, all rough and looks used and abused. But yeah, I like this for the most part. And then I didn't get his nose long enough because his, his, the ratio of his teeth and yeah, I just stopped. <laughs> but I wanted to do a spread with him here and then the big close up of the, of the polar bear in the background there. Didn't quite work out. And then, yeah, the horse, I didn't leave enough space between, that's what this arrow and note is. Um, I didn't leave enough space between the ear and the eye to make it look right, but I still think it looks cool. Like there should be more space here so that this is raised up more. This, this area needs to be up more, but I still like it. It's still interesting. And then there was a 
reference photo of a bear kind of just hanging out in a tree. This is just a quick pencil sketch of this crazy bear just sitting on a couple branches in a tree. And then I was doodling snow people, just little snowmen. And then doodled some field mice because once again, they're fun. I, I like drawing. I like drawing animals. I think this is cute. I think this was a Patreon or, or might have been a picture on. Um... No, not Patreon. I don't know why I keep saying Patreon. Pixabay. But it also could be a photo on um, Pinterest that I saw. Field mice are cute though. And then, oh yeah, I was enjoying sketching this. I was at work, I was on my break, and I got interrupted and I never went back to finish his, his big antlers. Well his face turned out neat. But his antlers, it's all graphite. Um, and once again, I get lost in the details. Hardcore, and um, it takes a lot longer when you do that. So I didn't get to finish him, and I just left him. It's okay to leave things unfinished in your sketchbook. Oh yeah, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> I was trying to draw Lynx, and I like drawing big cats, but this I was not feeling it this day. But I was forcing it. This is what happens when you force something, and it's not coming. But you keep trying and you keep pushing <laughs> and yeah not the best and then i moved on to owls i love owls i think they're so great and i like to spread i was watching tv when i did this I, oh i got these karen dosh um i've been wanting these for so long these karen dosh colors they're water soluble and they are amazing you guys amazing so they're wonderful to play with. And then graphite drawing of the mountains and water, like this was was reflected, it got it gets all smudged around, but like the reflection, super fast drawing. Nothing once again on a break at work. Mostly this is my at work sketchbook. Um pull it out when I don't want to drive home for lunch and do sketches just to stay in practice because I work in an office now. I don't work at home anymore, which is a bummer. It's such a huge bummer. Um, so I make myself take my breaks and I make myself work on my art during my breaks to pull myself out of that work brain and have a little personal fun. Um, yeah, this is something I do often. I open up Pixabay. Pixabay.com is a royalty-free um, website for people. They put up, I think, videos, vectors, pictures. There's all kinds of stuff on there for creatives to use that are um, worry-free. You, you don't have to worry about um, infringing anybody's royalties. And you can use the photos for your art. And I will open up Pixabay and draw whatever's on, like, the front page. No, no flipping or sifting because I get lost in the sifting and deciding. Um, so whatever critter or creature or person or bird or whatever is on the first page is I'll pick a couple of those and draw them. Whichever ones grab my attention. So this is Faber-Castell artist pit pen over graphite because the dog wasn't was a dog playing in the snow and he, with just the graphite, it didn't look quite like a dog enough for me. So I put some ink over him. He's cute, right? A cute little thing. Playing in the snow. And then a couple squirrels. I, sh I was going to do something else down here. I just had to take a break. And then ink landscape. Um, this is like the tide went out and there's, this, there's little drop water here and there and everywhere. I hope that's conveyed. And then the rocks in the water. And there's a big rock here. And that's my... I got a Grayscale Arctic markers, which are amazing. I recommend them. I did a swatch video of the Arctic markers. It's on the channel. I have two now. 
I have one that I need to edit and put up of the new Christmas box that I got. But this is the grayscale ones to do all the um, shadows and stuff on the ink work. Um, a winter scene is what I was going for there. I think it conveys, right? Just a quick, quick graphite sketch and then watercolor over the top of it. And I got interrupted once again drawing the bear and I was really feeling him and really really liking him and then I lost the reference photo <laughs> so I just stopped and I just leave it the way it is and then I was trying again and then there was this bear sitting in this fun pose and I just I wasn't feeling it I couldn't get him so I stopped jellyfish yeah Oh, these are my new colored pencils. I got new colored pencils. I'll be doing a, um, I got this set of colored pencils for Christmas this year. And I'm going to do a couple of art pieces and I swatched them and then I, I used them a little bit in here. They're nice. I've been wanting a nice, like I want the ink tense ones, but I, those, they're so expensive. So I graphite and then a little bit of colored pencil and then some watercolor wash around them. Cool, huh? Uh, graphite and watercolor wash again. Yeah. I like Star Wars. Anything sci-fi, really. Star Wars, Star Trek, Star whatever. Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this spread is about. Um, I was watching TV and doodling. I do that a lot. I have a TV tray that I put on my lap and well it's a computer laptop tray and I put this on my lap and I'll have a bunch of art supplies beside me and and be be playing with my my new art supplies. Um, this is the Car the Caran d'Ache pencil. These again on the bear and the flower. Um, yeah I thought he was funny she, he. I, th I just think their bears are so funny. But I like the Caran d'Ache crayons a lot, you guys. Um, I really want to get the big set this year. They're very versatile. Um, yeah, just practicing some winter scenes. I I'm having a hard time conveying snow and winter scenes, and that's something I want to learn this year, too. In watercolor. I, I don't I mean, I know I can probably do it in gouache fairly easily once I get gouache down, but yeah, I, I really want to be able to do it in watercolor and make it look right. At any rate, this is once again, this did a, there's no YouTube video for this one, but he turned out so cool, you guys. Graphite drawing, and then I went on over my graphite drawing with these, so you can actually see the graphite in there and the textures are so great i i love the textures that this medium offers um they're water soluble i didn't put water on this one though i treated them as um and they are pastels i treated them as pastels but if this gets wet it's going to turn into a big muddy mess i should probably spray some fixative or something on it and then the deer is a uh, graphite drawing and then I went over the top of it with a um, brown Faber-Castell pit pen. I have a bunch of those. They're, they're favorites. And then I was playing. I drew a bunch of mushrooms and tried going over it with the, the Caran d'Ache crayons again and yeah, made a mess. <laughs> but that's okay. And then I was at work doodling and sketching and uh, yeah, this is colored pencil and a little bit of marker and this is ink and um, marker. I have my, where did that go? Oh, it's over there. My new palette full packs pencil case that I got this year in my box and I filled this sucker up, you guys, with art supplies to bring to work. <laughs> and then blank page. And then doodling at work again, 
This is those Caran d'Ache, um, I don't know, it's a dragon creature thing. I don't know. And then I think that might be it in here. Yeah, I have, I meant to finish this sketchbook this year, but did not succeed. So there are a few pages left, but that's this guy. I need to leave that there though, because that's very sticky. But that's this guy for this year. And I will be finishing up those last few pages. And then we have the the big pieces of work, which we're going to go through right now. I did a couple of verses videos thinking I would really do those this this year. I would do verses videos like pen versus pencil. And, and this one was a um, graphite versus charcoal drawings. I need to zoom out can't see that. Yeah, I did two separate drawings, um, graphite versus charcoal, and the difference with drawing the same flowers, but the effects are so different. Um, I like them both, but this one is so much more dramatic and really grabs me. Um, yeah, charcoal. And then graphite is so much more soft and subdued. And they are both sprayed with fixative, but I still put tissue paper on them to keep them from smudging too much. And then after after this flip, I'll put them in the in the big folder. I don't know where to set them. <laughs> um, let's move the mouse out of the way. I don't need that right now. And then I did another versus video, um, beginning of the year, with. Um, this way. Um, pastels. Chalk pastel versus oil pastel. Um, doing the same bunny but with the different mediums. And I like them both. Um, they kind of look the same to me but the I didn't do a lot of blending. I did a lot of just scribbling and letting the textures be there. I really enjoy both of these pieces. I think they're they're both very cool. Um, yeah. So that's that's those. Um, I named him Harvey <laughs> uh, because that movie with um. Oh, I'm not gonna remember his name. We'll just leave that alone. There's a, an old black and white movie where um, the actor has an imaginary bunny friend and his name is Harvey. This is um, a palette full packs, I believe, or a scrawler box drawing that I did with one of my scrawler box. This was scrawler box, my first scrawler box of the year. I didn't stick with scrawler box this year. I switched to palette full packs. Um, so, yeah. And in one of the Palette for Packs boxes, we got this really beautiful sketchbook. I mean, it's so nice with the artist's work on it. Um, their name. Yeah, this is the artist. And this is a really, it was a really nice box. I did this upside down. I swatched out all the stuff and then did this guy in there. He's kind of neat. And then at some point, I did... Um, Oh, I was going to do a logo for Blake Studios and use a B, and this is just different sketches and me figuring out what I want to do, and I ended up not doing it. So yeah, that was a day of doodling. But I haven't touched this since, and I would like to get back to it this year. This is one of the ones I'm going to dedicate to this year. And we'll get to that later. Let's grab a couple of these. Let's grab a couple. I can do a little flip. Um, this was a palette packs. Yeah, March palette packs box. We got um, drawing boards, which are super cool. And this one was black. And I did a B on it. I think he turned out cool. <laughs> um, I got, at the end of last... Uh, the end of 2020, I got Jazza's um, big art box thing 
it with, came with the three different boxes and this was the mica powder stuff that was in it. I did these two pieces with the mica powder stuff just to see what they would do on the different surfaces because I've never used it before. Not a big fan. And I love iridescent paints and, and metallics. They turned out okay, but just not, I used way too much on here. Like it was, like it could be a standalone piece. And if I had left the background black, it probably would have looked super cool. But yeah, I got super carried away. And then this is also, yeah, uh, alcohol inks that came in Jazz's stuff on like Yupo paper is essentially what this is. Super smooth paper and I tried to do a, a butterfly with just fun splashes. I think it turned out cool. Um, the Yupo paper is loads and loads of fun but you have like almost no control whatsoever. Um, and it's super textured. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Right. This piece, I oddly enough, I love this piece. This is another, um, this is Scrawler Box for March. We got a bunch of, that's why I stopped do, getting Scrawler Boxes because it's a very ink and pen heavy box, markers and pens, and not my forte really, but I really like how he turned out. I got out of my, um, comfort zone and just threw all the art supplies on this bunny and tried to do it in the same fashion as the artist that curated the box and I oddly love this piece it hangs on my wall I had to take it off the wall to put in the video <laughs> I, I I don't know it speaks to me so I need to leave him out so I can hang it back up and this is palettful packs yeah the April palettful packs box we got markers and iridescent or metallic pens and I don't know what else but it was a very pen heavy box and I wasn't very happy so I drew an, a bird an owl which is I think it turned out good I just it's just not my thing the, the markers and and strictly doing just marker work I have a hard time with it not grabbing my watercolors and putting it in there or, or more ink and then we're jumping to, well, this is another Scrawler box. We, it came with a bunch of like colored pencils and ink pens. I forget what else. So one of the prompts lended itself to a tulip. So I did a tulip. I like the textures. And then this is palette packs. I put it right on there. Um, I, the swatching on the side and then I did a seahorse because of one of the prompts and I kind of dig how he turned out right very textured with the supplies that came in the box and on the artboard once again these artboards are so cool um, they give you a lot of texture um, yeah so I dig him and then this is that artboard again I just went ahead and played with another one and did another bird and watercolor and ink a little, little bit of ink pen on his face and the outsides of his feathers and then on the stem the rest of it is and there's a bit of gouache on the petals because I didn't like how they turned out on the artboard not my favorite piece this year but I was trying to get through these artboards I think we got four of them and I destroyed one <laughs> um but yeah, hummingbird feeding a baby and then the nest and kind of kept it loose and threw in a little bit of white gel pen on the top to make it glitter a bit. Because in my mind's eye, these little hummingbird dudes are, I mean, they're so tiny, but they're so intensely colored, some of them. And then I did a bunch of like I said, sketchbook, um, a bunch of the sketches turned into big watercolor pieces like this, this guy and this one, this was a jellyfish. Like I made that one up in my head, just thinking it would be fun, but the different shapes of hot air balloons are so cool. I just love them. 
So I had a, I had a heyday doing all these. I, I think they turned out super cool. I love them all. Um, yeah. And then I did a couple of big pieces. This is a YouTube video. Is this? Yeah, this one's a YouTube video. I love this one. I love, love, this is strictly watercolor, you guys. And for me, doing strictly watercolor is a challenge. I want to get in there with pen and ink and other mediums. And diff But I, that's one of my challenges for this year is to do strictly watercolor pieces and make them turn out this fabulous. <laughs> I love this piece. Probably going to hang it on my wall. And then I did this guy, which I think turned out amazing. Love it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so you can see the whole piece. Yeah. Um, I kind of fudged this area a bit. But overall, I really like the, the sky turned out so cool and all the different hot air balloons and different sizes. Yeah, I dig it. Strictly watercolor with gouache for these lines. White gouache on these lines and these lines. These two are white gouache. Just because I, I meant for them to be white and I got messy with the watercolor. But I think my t the sky turned out so great with all those textures. I mean, look at those beautiful textures. I love watercolor. <laughs> and I have this big sketchbook, which is not finished at all. Um, did a couple pieces in it in 2020. I did a winter scene and just sketching and playing with color. And then I didn't touch it again until I went to the park. Uh, that's down the road from me and drew this is just graphite of the, the little waterway right here with these pillars on either side and then the trees and the river in the background and this was supposed to be one of the big trees that's in the park but I got overwhelmed with the branch situation so I don't, so yeah I need to <laughs> I need to practice drawing trees um, in real life and chilling out because I was sitting there trying to get every single branch in its place and it's just so stressful. And then I was doing, I did a cobra, I think. That's a tag for something else. I just I'll put that over there. <laughs> yeah, that's a cobra with ink and just got messy because I really wanted to use the sketchbook. I forget that I have it and inside the sketchbook is Bristol paper. So, and it doesn't leak through, so I could do something on this page. I think he turned out cool, though. He's got lots of neat colors. I believe he has a YouTube video as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then I was doing a little bit of playing with my stencil for circles and doing make-believe galaxy paintings. I think they all turned out pretty neat. And I like the different colors. And that's it. I haven't touched this since. So this is getting left out this year so that I can finish this or do some stuff in it at any rate. And then our next two pieces are one video on YouTube. On my YouTubes. This is YouTube. We got um, a wooden board and I was going to do a, a lady. And this is for the August Palette Packs box and we got paper and we got um oil pastel i'm not touching this a lot because it's oil pastels um i love oil pastels they're so much fun and they're very vibrant um oh i got a line on him i'm gonna have to fix that but i really wanted to show you guys the difference between what the oil pastels look like on a board and how they behave on a hard surface uh, as opposed to on paper and I like them both. I think they turned out amazing. I am very happy with them. And I love all the colors. This box was a favorite. I thoroughly enjoyed this box. Um, I wish it came with more boards because I would like more boards to, to work on. Um, I just like it. But yeah, super happy with these. Um, I need to set them over here though because they need to be put in a different spot. 
And then, <clears throat> once again, we got a bunch of these crescent, I, I, we, whoever signed up for Powerful Packs got a bunch of these crescent boards and I wanted to play with them, so I did a little space turtle. Um, watercolor, a bit of gouache. I wasn't liking how the watercolor was making this weird texture on the background, but I like this piece. This, I think it turned out super neat. Um, boards over there. Stay. And I did another board, another crescent board. Um, these are mixed media boards. They're not necessarily meant for watercolor, but I did more, um, space jellyfish. Because <laughs> why not? Or it could be in the ocean, right? This could be an up-close jelly. There's just, like, the head of it. But this is watercolor on, uh, once again, and gouache, just to see what it would do. Yeah, I dig those pieces. And then I tried to do a, um, this is unfinished. This is the board that I, they have, uh, and they do bow if you put too much water on them. But I, I was not enjoying how this was turning out. I didn't like the textures. I didn't like that it was soaking up so much water and so much color. So I just stopped. And I got out um, a piece of paper and tried again. So, tried with the board, didn't like it, switched to a piece of paper, love this piece. This is that duochrome paint from Daniel Smith. I wanted to see what it would do and I like it a lot. Um, wishing I had used the, the blue, a blues, you know, something with blues in it. I mean, there are some blues, but not as much. But I dig how the how the seahorse turned out. A um, little bit of white gouache, gel pen, iridescent um, paint. Probably, yeah, this is probably Liquitex Gold to really make him sparkle. And then watercolor, watercolor, watercolor. Love how he turned out. This this little dude's unfinished. I spilled coffee on it. He I. I <laughs> I had a bad warning. <laughs> so I would like to retry him. I love him. I think he's awesome. Oh. I also have two large pieces that are turtles that I started. One in pastel. I'll, I'll just grab them. Actually, I'm not going to grab them because they're they're very big pieces. They, they cover this whole table um, that I did not finish yet that I'm going to finish this year. But I'm so sad that I spilled coffee on him. Because he was coming along. <laughs> and then, just for the sake of um, not putting you guys through torture, um, October, Inktober, dedicated flip video for all of this with uh, commentary on each piece. If you're interested, it is in the Inktober playlist. But I'm not going to get into each one of these because the video will be a thousand years long. But I did the whole month of ink drawings. Inktober 52 and Inktober um, it really took over my life a little bit this year. <laughs> but yeah, this is all Bristol paper and some sort of ink on the, the paper with marker and some watercolor wash, some, um, uh oh, uh oh, that's got stickies on the back of it. We'll set you aside. I don't want that to ruin this one. A little sticky on there. I love the texture on the sky on this one. But yeah, Inktober this year was so much fun. I, I just really went for it and did what I wanted uh, for each day and thoroughly enjoyed the month. Um, yeah, but once again, if you're interested, the in-depth talk about each piece is on on that video. Um, yeah. And I tell you what I did for each piece and what the prompt word was and the thoughts behind the piece and all that if you're interested in, in knowing all that information. It is out there for you. For your enjoyment. Uh oh. I taped them all on the wall to do a big, um, like, shot of all the pieces for um, October 
that I did because I think that's a fun thing to do like take all your pieces that you did and put them on the wall and do a little video clip of, of all of the pieces for October. It's a lot of work and I really, I really had a lot of fun this year with that. And then the last few, these are the last few, we got another palette full packs box with acrylic paint and I am not friends with acrylic paint. We do not work well together <laughs> historically. So this is actually a really good piece for me for acrylic paint. I like the bird dude and I like all the cool textures on him. Um, and this is a video. Yeah, it's the uh, November palette full packs box. I love my palette full packs box. And then I did these sketches. Um, there's a squirrel on a tree which I haven't painted yet. And then a bat that I haven't painted yet. I will get to them. But those are the sketches. Uh, and then I did a bunny. He's a YouTube video. I love the leaves down here. I think it turned out so cool. She, he, it, I don't know. Not thrilled with this one. Just saying. I like the idea. I think it's cute. But um, I, it's too muddy. It got muddy on me. Got, got carried away. So I don't think I'd put the video out for that. And then my gnomes for this year. My cool little gnome dudes. There's a time lapse for each one of these. Um, I've taken to, I don't know, doing gnomes in the Christmas season. My sister's fault. I like these guys. I think they turned out cute. Uh, him sliding. Who doesn't like sledding, right? And this guy. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. And then this one got away from me. I'm not, I mean, I love the idea of the piece of the fox sleeping in the snow in the sun. But, um, I had to stop. Uh, it was watercolor. And then the fox started looking super orange and muddy. And I know they're kind of orangey, but I don't know. I'm just overly displeased with it. And then I tried pastel on the top of it, which is why this is dirty looking. Um, and this was on just a scrap of paper that I had laying around. But I, I might go back to this idea and try it again. But I, I didn't do a video for that one. Uh, we got a... <laughs> We got a marker box for palletful packs, right? Yeah. And I I was, I don't know. The video's up. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a, I, I, it's on my list of things to learn to do better this year. Um, gouache, strictly watercolor pieces. I'd like to do a more oil pastel and chalk pastel pieces because I love those mediums. Um, but yeah, I need to get better at marker pieces. I'm not sure why I need to, but this is, I mean, it's cute, but it's very not me, <laughs> to my mind. Now this one is more me. I love this piece. I love the idea of it. I used salt in the sky for this to look like the bear was getting snowed on. Should I zoom out more? more. There we go. So you can see the whole piece. Um, I use salt in the sky, which is a great effect um, to make it look like it was snowing on the bear. And then I used a little bit of uh, either, I don't remember, I'd have to go back to the video, my Copic Opaque White for the, the big snow snowflakes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was my Copic Opaque White. But yeah, I, I really like I like how it turned out. I went crazy on the bare textures. You guys can let me know what you think. But I'm really proud of this piece. I love it. And then the last piece, which is unfinished, is this guy. I was trying iridescent paints and to do a Christmas reindeer and I just stopped. So on that note, <laughs> let's, let's flip back to this one for the goodbye. Um, on that note, that is all of the work for this year. I, that's, that's it. That's a lot, right? I think it's a lot. I feel like I've talked a lot and, uh, um, I appreciate you 
coming through the video with me and listening to me blather about my my art that I did this year. Um, I'd love to see what you've done this year if you do the YouTube art video thing. At any rate, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!